has anything changed in the last 12 months with regard to the charges brought by the Premier League? Are you still frustrated? And how much of an impact has the constant referencing of them had on you and the club? Yeah, of course it's frustrating. I think the reference is, is always frustrating. Uh, having it being talked about the way it's being talked about, it's taking longer than what anyone hoped for. Uh, but it is what it is. And I've always repeated that in every interview I've done with you, Chris, is uh, let's be judged by the facts and not by uh, claims and, uh, and counterclaims. There were times during the season when it didn't look likely. Were you worried at certain points that it wasn't going to happen? I mean, every game was a cook final from December onwards, basically, in the league. So I'll tell you something. Um, I will tell you that... Uh, you want, you, actually, let me ask myself the question. When did I know we were going to win the league? You're gonna, when did the, you know you were going to win the league? Yes, that's... <laughs> I'm not going to surprise you with that one. Go on. Arsenal away. The question is, four in a row, what next? <laughs> Five in a row. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Uh, actually, to be clear, this is, I think, something that, that, that I'm s most proud of in this, uh, in this club and in this entire organization we have. From top to bottom, I would say, if you ask this question to anyone, they will ask you probably the same answer. What, what bearing do the current regulations have on what you can and can't do this summer in particular? Because it, it feels like, to the layman, certainly, it's a complicated landscape. There's FFP... PSR, squad cross ratios, 70% rule in Europe. I mean, how hard is it to navigate all those regulations? And will that make this summer's transfer market subdued or, or do you think it will be buoyant? It's specifically for us or in general in, in football? Well, both. Okay. There's a bit more sensibility in, in regulating. Always a balanced approach is, is good from all the leagues, be it in, in England or the rest of the Europe. I think you won't see the same level as we've seen in the past years because of the level of your regulations that have, have come to, to place over the last 12 months. Is it likely then that there'll be fewer cash deals and more swaps or player plus cash? Or no, even that, because there's, there's also been a lot of restrictions now put in place on, on swaps and, tra and, and, and loans. So, so even that is, 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 is now much more uh, restricted. So I think the level of maneuverability that was uh, in place before that allowed teams to do what they were able to do in the past, I think is much more restricted this year.